This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. And I'm Nermeen Sheikh. Welcome to our listeners and viewers around the country and around the world. The new U.S. special envoy to Venezuela, Elliot Abrams, testified on Capitol Hill Wednesday on U.S. efforts to oust Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro. Abrams spoke three weeks after the U.S. recognized opposition leader Juan Guaido as Venezuela's new president. Since then, the U.S. has placed sweeping sanctions on Venezuela's state-run oil company and rejected calls for an international dialogue to resolve the crisis. Elliot Abrams is a right-wing hawk who was convicted in 1991 for lying to Congress during the Iran-Contra scandal, but he was later pardoned by President George H.W. Bush. Abrams defended Guatemalan dictator General Efrain Rios Montt as he oversaw a campaign of mass murder and torture of indigenous people in Guatemala in the 1980s. Rios Mont was later convicted of genocide. Abrams was also linked to the 2002 coup in Venezuela that attempted to topple Hugo Chavez. On Wednesday, Elliot Abrams was interrupted by protesters soon after he began addressing the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Thank you for the opportunity to testify on our efforts to restore democracy in Stop. Venezuela. Hold on. Elliot Abrams supported yeah. genocide. In, in Iraq, Elliot Abrams is going to send weapons to Venezuelan right-wing factions to cause a genocide in Guatemala and El Salvador. Join Code Pink and answer coalition. Okay, uh, the chair, the chair will. The chair will remind all persons in the audience that any manifestation of approval or disapproval of proceedings is in violation <clears throat> of the rules of the House and its committees. Mr. Abrams, I Thank apologize. You. Please continue. Venezuela is at a crossroads. Over the past month, we've witnessed a massive outpouring of hope and courage and tenacity by the Venezuelan people. We saw it again yesterday, <clears throat> as they have taken to the streets to protest a regime that has brought them nothing but poverty and misery and repression. They have placed their hopes in a young, dynamic, and legitimate leader, Juan Guaido, to lead them through a transition to democracy. And we join the Venezuelan people in this effort. Elliot Abrams, the U.S. Special Envoy to Venezuela, testifying before the House Foreign Affairs Committee, which is chaired by New York Democrat Elliot Engel. Abrams was later questioned by Democratic Congress member Ilhan Omar of Minnesota. Mr. Adams, in 1991, you pleaded guilty to two counts of withholding information from Congress regarding your involvement in the Iran Cortra affair for which you were later pardoned by President George H.W. Bush. I fail to understand uh, why members of this committee or the American people should find any testimony that you give uh, today to be truthful. If I can respond to that. Uh, um, it wasn't a question. Uh, I would, On was February, that was it not, was that was not attack, a question. I that was the I. Point I reserve the right I'm, to my time. It is not. It is not right. That was not a question. The committee can attack on February eighth. Who is not permitted to reply? That that was not a question. Thank you for your participation. Spy on out. February eighth, nineteen eighty-two, you testified before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee about U.S. policy in El Salvador. In that hearing, you dismissed as communist propaganda report about the massacre of El Mosote, in which more than 800 civilians, including children as young as two years old, were brutally murdered by U.S. trained troops. During that massacre, some of those troops bragged about raping a 12-year-old girl before they killed them, girls before they killed them. You later said that the U.S. policy in El Salvador was a fabulous achievement. Yes or no, do you still think so? From the day that President Duarte was elected in a free election to this day, El Salvador has been a democracy. That's a fabulous achievement. Yes or no, do you think that massacre 
was a fabulous achievement that happened under our watch. That is a ridiculous question, and I yes will not or no? It. No. I, I will sorry, Mr. I will Chairman, take that as a yes. I am not going to respond to that kind of personal attack, which is not a question. Yes or no, would you support an armed faction within Venezuela that engages in war crimes, crimes against humanity or genocide, if you believe they were serving U.S. interest, as you did in Guatemala, El Salvador, and Nicaragua? I am not going to respond to that question. I'm sorry. I don't think this entire line of questioning is meant to be real questions, and so I will not reply. Whether you, under your watch, a genocide will take place, and you will look the other way, because American interests were being upheld, is a fair question. Because the American people want to know that any time we engage a country, that we think about <clears throat> what our actions could be and how we believe our values are being farthered. That is my question. Will you make sure that human rights are not violated and that we uphold international and human rights? I suppose there is a question in there, and the answer is that the entire thrust of American policy in Venezuela <clears throat> is to support the Venezuelan people's effort to restore democracy to their country. That's our policy. I don't think anybody disputes that. The question I had for you is that the interest, does the interest of the United States include protecting human rights and include protecting people against genocide? That is always the position of the United States. Thank you. I yield back my time. Democratic Congress member Ilhan Omar of Minnesota questioning Elliot Abrams, the new U.S. special envoy to Venezuela. When we come back, we'll hear more excerpts from Wednesday's hearing and speak to journalist Roberto Lovato. Stay with us.